and welcome to another lesson. <laughs> uh, we can jump right into it today. So let's open our Ingu site. And where is it now? Here we go. Here's the Ingu site. Like I mentioned in previous videos, you guys can come here, ingu.com slash app slash daily news, daily dash news. Uh, if you want to come read some more articles, they've got a lot of free content for you. And they also offer one-on-one -on -one lessons. So if you want to join, um, pay one-on-one -on -one so you can actually speak to somebody, interact with somebody in English, have a look there. All right, so let's jump right into the lesson. We're going to go, do, 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 do. let's take this one quite advanced, level eight. Let's have a look here. Study rainwater everywhere, unsafe to drink. Oh, dear. All right. So as always, we'll start off with the vocabulary. I'll read through it. I'd like you guys to pause afterwards, read through it, make sure you understand all of the words, especially maybe um, more higher level words. Um, if you're not sure if the definition and the meaning, the definition's not clear, you can still Google it, maybe try and find more, you know, explanations where it's a little bit clearer. But let's have a look here. First one, resistant. So not affected, harmed, etc. by something. The shoes are made from a water resistant fabric. Okay, exposure and the state of being unprotected from something dangerous or harmful. The WHO estimates that secondhand smoke exposure causes 1.2 million deaths per year. Hmm. All right. Next one, fertility, a person's ability to produce babies. A new study suggests that fertility rates in the U.S. have reached an all-time low. Then your immune system, and that is the organs and processes that protect against diseases and illness. Not getting enough sleep can weaken the immune system and inhibit the body's ability to fight infections. Next one, plateau and an area of high and flat land. The views from the plateau were spectacular. Last one, restrict, and that is to limit, stop, or control something. New rules restrict how many customers can enter the store to help stop the spread of COVID-19. All right. So let's go right on to our article and just going to, again, read through it. I'd like you guys to pause after each paragraph, read, and then make sure you've got the pronunciation. So let's start with it. Study rainwater everywhere, unsafe to drink. Rainwater everywhere on earth is now unsafe to drink, according to a new study by researchers at Stockholm University and the Swiss University. ETH Zurich, the researchers found that rainwater across the world is polluted with dangerous levels of chemicals called PFAS. A PFAS, or short for ooh, perfluorochal and polyfluorochal substances, these are a large group of man made chemicals that have been used since the 1940s in a wide variety of consumer and industrial products. Because they last for a long time, they are also called forever chemicals. Mm. PFAS are useful because they can be added to products to make them water resistant, stain resistant or heat resistant. For that reason, they have been used in products such as cookware, clothing and firefighting materials. <clears throat> However, because PFAS are used so widely, they can now be found in our environment, our food, and even our blood. There are over 4,000 different types of these chemicals, so how dangerous they are to human health is difficult to study. However, research has shown that too much exposure to PFAS may cause health problems such as weight problems, fertility problems, damage to the immune system, and increased risk of cancer. Hmm. The research team from Stockholm and Zurich studied the presence of four different PFAS in the global environment over a decade and discovered that rainwater around the world has unsafe levels of these PFAS. Unsafe, level, unsafe levels were even found in remote areas such as Antarctica and the Tibetan Plateau. 
In a statement, Professor Ian Cousins, the lead author of the study, said that based on the most recent US safety guidelines, rainwater everywhere would be judged as unsafe to drink. He added that although people in the developed world don't usually drink rainwater, many people around the world expect to be would many oh sorry about that. I'm gonna start over with that one. My tongue got tied there. In a statement, Professor Ian Cousins, the lead author of the study, said that based on the most recent US safety guidelines, rainwater everywhere would be judged unsafe to drink. He added that although people in the developed world don't usually drink rainwater, many people around the world expect it to be safe to drink and it supplies many of our drinking water sources. The research team warns that safe levels cannot be achieved without a large investment in advanced cleanup technology and recommends that PFAS be rapidly restricted. Ooh, that's kind of a scary news. <clears throat> well, let's have a look at the discussion. Number one, what are your thoughts on the findings of this study? So again, before I answer this, I'm going to answer it in the way that I would. And then after that, I'd like you to answer the question in the way that you would. Or if you'd like, you can maybe pause first and express your opinion first and then listen to what I say. So my answer don't influence your answer. <laughs> All right. But either way, either way is fine as long as you speak and, you know, try and form sentences out loud. So my thoughts on the findings of the study, that's kind of scary, I would assume. Um, but again, it's like, how dangerous is it? I don't know. Um, you know, if you look at these things that they have, they, they talked about these microplastics that you find in fish everywhere now, and it's in our blood. And so there's plastic in our blood. There's probably these PFAS. Um, I don't know how the filtering system works. Does it actually get rid of the PFAS? Um, I don't know. But yeah, what are you going to do about it? I mean, this is for governments to sort out, not for us to really do something. Um, yeah, but it's not good. It's not good. All right. Before reading this article, did you believe rainwater was safe to drink? Absolutely. Yes, I thought it was safe to drink. Again, uh, fairly safe. I would say fairly safe. I wouldn't mind drinking rainwater, you know, because there's still toxins in the air. There's pollution in the air. So I don't know if the rain falls through the sky, how much of that can kind of get into the raindrops uh but i would still say i would probably still rather drink rainwater than water from a stream yeah what do you make of the fact that unsafe levels of pfas have been found in remote areas yeah that's scary especially like if you look at it in the arctic that means it's going everywhere um yeah that's not good it's not good Number four, do you tend to drink tap or bottled water more often? Um, back home in South Africa, we usually drink tap water. Um, no problem. I don't know how safe it is, to be honest. I don't know if I would trust the government in South Africa that much anymore for tap water. But uh, yeah, in Thailand, we drink bottled water. Yeah. I mean, tap water is fine. I brush my teeth with tap water. I would probably still use tap water to cook with. Um, but yeah, there's always bottled water in Thailand for drinking. But I must say, now that I've moved to Phuket here, uh, the house that we bought now, or a lot of houses in, in Phuket actually, the, because it's an island, there's a lot of water under the ground. So we had a, we connected to, or we d had a well, or we have a well. When we moved in, we didn't have a well, but we dug a well. We got people to dig a well. I didn't dig the well. Um, so we have a well that gives us our water supply for the house and the water is very clean and it's a lot of water. So there's no problem with water. I'm getting my water from a hole in the ground here. And just last week I installed the full filter, the filter system. Um, so we tested the, we've got these home kits. We got, we installed the filter system ourselves. YouTube's amazing for that. And so the, 
we tested for all the chemical things and the water is very clean now, but I still wouldn't, I would probably say this water is very safe to drink, but I still wouldn't because they say that you don't know bacteria doesn't get killed through a filter system like this. It just takes out chemicals and calcium and things like that. Um, so if there's bacteria in the water, you could still get sick. You have to, if you take this water and you boil it, I would drink it because I think the water here is probably very clean. Um, but again, that's just me. I didn't even know there's PFAs in the rain. So yeah, anyway. <laughs> Number five, have you traveled anywhere with tap water that was unsafe to drink? Yeah, I live in Thailand and I lived in China. There I didn't drink the tap water either. Um, yeah, there's. I think there's a lot of places around the world that they don't drink tap water. Okay, further discussion. Are your country's waterways polluted? Um, again, I, I don't. I don't know. I I would probably think that Thailand's water is safer to drink than South Africa's, but we drink it in South Africa. Don't drink it here. So I actually don't know. I don't know. What environmental issues do you find most alarming? Probably uh, global warming slash air pollution. The air, air quality is a big concern, especially having lived in China there, it was very bad. And in Chiang Mai as well, there's a, a, what they call the smoky season. So there's a couple of months from January till about March, April, or maybe now it's starting December already, where they burn old leaves and things during the what they call the dry season before the rain comes so that the land is clear and everything so that causes a lot of smoke pollution in Chiang Mai the whole north of Thailand actually and that's also very alarming actually all right which of your friends or family is the most environmentally conscious um I don't have friends that are environmentally conscious like that. But I must say, I was quite impressed. I've got a lot of students from Japan and just hearing how they talk about recycling and the, the, the things they do to recycle plastics is quite impressive. And I think having a whole country do that is very good. I mean, I think other countries could learn from that. So, yeah, that'd be quite nice. Number four, have you made any changes to your lifestyle for environmental reasons? Um, yeah, I mean, I don't try and use plastics when I don't need to. You know, a lot of times if you go to a shop, they'll give you straws and stuff that I never use. I just throw it away. So I would just tell them like, no thanks. So if I buy one or two things and they want to give me a plastic bag, for, I'm like, no thanks. I mean, that's something small, but I haven't made any big changes. Uh, number five, do you expect the world to be a better place to live in 20 years from now? Oof, I hope so. I hope so. Um, I would think so, actually. I think now we're going over to electric cars, and I think a lot of countries are trying to, you know, get that. Obviously, the electric, electric cars get the energy from power plants, so it depends how you get your power from the power plant. If you're still burning coal for power, then how much does it help but if you've got greener ways of getting electricity and I, I think i think we're making steps into the right direction i hope so at least all right well that is it again uh interesting article over there let's just stop this and that's it for today so tune in again i'll try and upload videos from Saturday to Wednesdays, I'll try and do one every day. So if you're interested, you can subscribe and do all the things that they say you should do on videos. I'm not into all that nonsense, but do what you like. <laughs> all right. See you next time. Bye-bye.